I've been pollinating crops for over a decade, at least a decade, uh, with my own bees. And I usually start off in February, you know, with almonds, like a lot of us. The bees come back, I tend to treat and split them, and then uh, I put them right into onion seed and melons. And I've been pollinating melons for just as long. And some years, they do fine. Some years, they, uh, they thrive on melons. You know, I, I will have some that die. But, you know, it could be from anything. It's not always pesticides in the melons or being uh, mismanaged out there. But I've never really raised my price in a crazy manner. You know, I've raised a few bucks every year. This year, I put everything I had in the melons, almost every colony. I split them to put them in the melons. The farmer wanted uh, more per acreage and he doubled up. I put, uh, like I said, everything, everything I had. And it so happens that this was one of those years where I experienced a lot of loss, particularly in the melons. And it goes to, uh, it begs the question, is it worth it? If you're pollinating at a low, a low cost uh, per hive, and, and uh, in the end, that the colony is either going to die or it's not going to make as much honey, you know, by the end of the summer. Which I don't make a lot of honey in my area anyway. It's kind of a low yield area, but I do make a fair amount. Last year I was cut back in melons, so I probably only put a you know a few hundred, maybe. 60% of what I had into uh, into melons. It was more than a few hundred, but it was about 60%. And the rest stayed out. And uh, those bees last year, they, they thrived. I made uh, lots of honey. Probably my best bee year uh, I've ever had. Um, but this year, I'm folding up maybe if I have a yard of 48 or so maybe 11 12 of them more in some cases are uh, are dying so is it worth it no it's not worth it it's not worth it to pollinate uh, any crop if in the end the bees just die and I know it's not always provable. That what you're pollinating is uh, is killing your bees. You know. But when you're pulling that kind of numbers out, and the evidence just points uh, to pollination. And I'm, I treat my bees for mites, uh, I go through them, I'm really uh, thorough on my treatments and on, uh, you know, bee pests in general. So, I'm going to head to this yard right now, where I have 48 colonies of bees that I haven't been through since I took them out of the melons. And... I'll go through them and see, uh, you know, how much dead I have. It's a warm July windy day. These bees are right next to two big alfalfa fields. A bunch of coyotes apparently.
Okay, let's see what kind of colonies we have here. Okay, so now I'm going to get ready to uh, go through these colonies. And I've popped a couple of them and looked, and it's not real promising. There's not a lot of flight activity. You know, granted, it is windy, and it's fairly early. It's not real warm. Um, you can see this one here has a little bit of activity, and it's actually a pretty good-looking colony. Um, but then right next door, these ones, there, there's a, literally nothing in there. So I anticipate then I'm gonna have a lot of dead colonies throughout this yard. You know, probably more than what I'm used to. I know when I put these down, they weren't the greatest looking, um, you know, without popping them. But these should all be booming colonies and they're just not. Uh, a three high that looks pretty good. But there's just too many in here that have nothing. This one's, a little, this one's dead. You know. Ooh, that's a good one there. So it's a little depressing and uh sucks but the thing about it is you could always rebuild almost always anyway it may take a little while but the numbers will come back up so bear with me I'm gonna leave the camera right here I'm gonna pause it as I go through these and then I'm just gonna start it right back up so you can get an idea of uh, the price of pollination so stand by and we are back so out of the 48 colonies i now have 22 that are still alive a number of those are small some of them are, are good size so a 26 colony loss is not a sustainable loss in beekeeping in commercial pollination in uh, honey production and I did this on this yard because I knew I would have more. When I put the bees in, out of the melons, I knew they didn't look good. So I intentionally, I kind of waited to go through this yard. But as you can see, it's a good, good loss. I mean, it's, it's terrible. There's all the boxes I gotta take back, clean up, and probably store till next year. So all I could do now is try and get these existing colonies back into shape, fill in the empty spots with uh, fall nooks, and feed them up until they're uh, strong enough to survive the winter. Welcome to uh, a beekeeper's nightmare.